All right, Justin from Transistor.fm here. Thought I would do an ep- update on what we've been working on on the marketing side. Uh, and if you've been following along, I've been trying to improve the search engine optimization for our entire site, uh, but specifically for this page, how to start a podcast in 2023. This is by far the most important search term in our industry. Highly competitive, but I wanted to see if we could improve our position on Google for this page. Now you can see for a long time, we've been around the 58 position for this term. This is for how to start a podcast, 61. And then we started making some changes and we jumped up to position 23. And I think now we're at position 25 for the search term. And again, depending on who you are, if you search how to start a podcast, uh, we're not yet on the first page when I search. And let's see if we're even on the second page yet. Yeah, we're now we're on the second page. So very competitive, but we're getting there. And we've done a number of changes here. Uh, this is actually Josh Anderton's work. I, I've been hiring him to help me uh, improve this page. So already what you're seeing here is an improvement over what we had before. Uh, we recently changed the typography here, uh, actually inspired by our friends over at Outseta. Uh, I really liked the line spacing and just how the content kind of breathed here, font size. So we've um, done something similar. I think Josh is using Tailwind Pros for this. Yeah, this Tailwind typography plugin. Um, but it looks really great and uh, much more readable. We've added more content. We have added more internal links to this page. We are actively seeking more external links, but we wanted to continue to optimize this page. And uh, one thing we noticed is that the highest ranking pages, for example, uh, our friends at Buffer have one of the higher ranking pages for how to start a podcast. They are using skyscraper content, so this big, long guide, but um, they have a sticky navigation on the sidebar so that you can jump around to different spots. So I wanted Josh to help us implement something like this on the transistor side. And we've got version one I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, a few things we wanted to fix. One, I've noticed with a lot of these kind of anchor tag navigation systems, the headline gets cut off on a lot of them. Um, a lot of sites, including Transistor, have this fixed uh, nav header, and it results in these things getting cut off. Uh, the other thing I didn't want was this kind of scroll jacking where it scrolls uh, every time you click. So yeah, those were two things. So here's our, oh, and then the other thing I wanted Josh to help us do was refine these product um, sections here where we recommend microphones and other things. Uh, this is something I built. I was never, it's not great. Um, and so I want to show you what Josh built. It's It's really great. So here, and again, first iteration, but I think this is an improvement over what we have. So here is what he built. Now you'll notice as soon as I switch, oh, now we've got an index over here. This index gets automatically built in Statomic, our CMS. I, it gets built based on the headlines. So we can jump to how to come up with good podcast topic ideas. Notice that our headline is not cut off. Uh, so, you know, normally if you don't optimize this part, it gets hidden, but we've got it night. It's just jumping right to the right spots. And look what Josh did here with these products, these product features. These are so cool. Um, just such an improvement over what I had down here. This is the old one. This is the new one bigger thumbnail. You can still, uh, you know, visit the store where you can buy these things. Um, 
And what's great is we can, he built these as reusable components. So we can actually put these on other pages if we want to. I'm going to show you that in a bit. But yeah, I really love how this is built. Again, it automatically just grabs the headline and then it creates an anchor tag for it. So you'll see it's how to record and edit your podcast. It's just um, generating that anchor tag based on the headline. So these get created automatically. We can add this again as a component inside Statomic uh, to any page we'd like. So this index here, and this is a sticky index. It'll stay there the whole time we're there. And uh, yeah, just really well, really cool implementation. Of course, we've got these other components that Josh built, these frequently asked questions. I think this is really shows the power and customizability of Statomic as a CMS because we can build all these components kind of bespoke the way we want them and uh, including components like this. All right, so let me show you what it looks like on the back end. So here in the collections uh, section, we have a new collection called products. So now I can create these products just by creating a new entry. This is what they look like when you create them. So title, what type of uh, product it is, description, the price, the image, and then the product page URL. Uh, and then he has this drop down for the logo that gets shown there, right? So you got these little Amazon logos and Apple Audacity. Uh, this is so cool to me. So yeah, we can, we've got this collection of products and then we can insert them inside of different blog posts and pages. Let me show you what that looks like. So here's this, this important blog post, how to start a podcast in 2023. And if we, well, the first thing is you'll notice we can enable navigation sidebar. And what that will do is it'll automatically create this sidebar index for any post we do this on. Let, let me show you actually one where we don't have it implemented yet. So let's go to, do we have it on here? We don't have it on here. So here's a blog post. Look at this. Here's the blog post, right? And if I want that sidebar navigation, all I have to do is enable this, save. Look at that. It automatically created this index that I can, it's, a, it's an automated table of contents for any blog post. As long as you've got H2s and H3s, it works. This is just so friggin' awesome. Josh built this especially for our, uh, our Statomic site, but we could do this on really any, we could make this into a plugin for Statomic if we wanted to, um, maybe we will. So that is very cool. Uh, let's go back now to the important post here. And the way that uh, these product packages are built is it's a reusable component. So uh, I could put this on any page and add these products on there. Okay, I have this other page called Podcast Equipment Guide, and you can see it's got the old podcast starter kits and other things. So what I can do is now, instead of having this big, massive embedded HTML, I can click Add a Product section, and we're going to call this the Starter Podcast Kit. So let's do that here, Starter Podcast Kit. And then I can link to existing items. So so we want the Samsung and the pop filter and the audio editing. So let's go back here. So we're going to have this pop filter and then we're going to add uh, Audacity and GarageBand. So I'm going to select all those and let's save this. Let's take a look at it. And now I've got the this list of products here and I can delete this part here. So this just looks so great. Um, you, let's see what it looks like mobile. 
So let's go over here. Let's change this to mobile. And you can see it looks great on mobile as well. Let's actually look at what these index pages look like um, on mobile. So here's the here's that part there. Let's um, go into mobile view here. And what it does is it just grabs the the top H2s and ignores the H3s. And you click on there and it takes you right to that spot. So uh, on mobile, it's not going to be sticky on the sidebar, obviously, but you still get the benefit of that index. You can go straight to the spot you want. The other thing that Josh just built that we've already deployed is these review collections where I can add customer reviews and testimonials. So in this case, we have you know the title, the quote, who, the customer that gave us the review. And this looks like this. So these here are generated or pulled from these review blocks that we have. Again, the advantage is that I can now use these review blocks anywhere in the site. And for example, if I need to correct one of these review blocks or maybe you know this person has gone to a different company, I can update that link. It'll update everywhere on the site. And you know we have we have a review uh, testimonial on our pricing page. Well, I can now just put these blocks in on the pricing page. We often use these review blocks on our uh, comparison pages. You know, when we're comparing ourselves to other podcast hosting platforms, now I can just insert these testimonial review blocks here. And I can make sure they're updated. I can make sure that they're current customers, all these things. So these custom content types that we're creating in these collections, so helpful. You can see we've got them for frequently asked questions, for the change log. And uh, Josh has built these beautiful index pages that are custom for each type of content. We've got another one for case studies. This index looks different. We've got another one for blog. We've got another one for the change log. Here's what the change log looks like. And even the change log items uh, have their own look. We have another one for features. Here's the features block page. And this is what this looks like. So we are using these all over the place. I think uh, Josh has done a great job here. And um, I think other folks who are in SaaS or you know have web applications and are looking for a way to do your marketing site, um, we've just had such a good experience with Statomic because the ability to create these bespoke content types in this way and have it so fast has just been really, really nice. Thought I would share just a little bit of what we have. Uh, if you have questions or you're interested or yeah, you have suggestions, uh, feel free to reach out to Joshua or myself. Joshua is on Twitter, Joshua Anderton. I'm on Twitter and Mastodon as M.I. Justin. It'd be great to get your questions and feedback. Or if you're seeing this on YouTube, you can just post a comment below. Thanks.